What's up guys? This is just a little uh, how-to of changing the oil on your bike. This is 2013 Jixxer 600. Every bike's a little bit different, but you know the procedures are basically the same, just where things are located. So um, before you start, obviously you're going to need oil. Look at your specs to see how much oil your bike takes. Here's an oil filter socket. Makes it easier to get the actual filter off. Here's an oil filter, if you don't know what it looks like. Um, a, um, a little funnel to open it up something to drain the old, old oil in. So basically what you're gonna do is, I always take off my oil, oil filler cap first, which is located right here on my bike. It helps it drain a little bit easier. Uh, I loosened up the fairings a little bit just so I can access what I need to. Um, here is my oil filler bolt, or I'm sorry, oil drain bolt. Um, so you basically take that off, you know, oil comes out, let it drip. Um, I have my bike on the stand right now. So I let it drip basically you know, until it's almost done. I take it off the stand, put it on the kickstand. Actually, some more comes out. Um, when that's done dripping, I put it back on the stand, put the um, oil drain bolt in. And then I come to the front here, and then I, I don't know if you can see back there, but there's a bolt, and you can see it dripping a little bit. That's where your oil filter goes, at least where mine goes. Every bike's a little bit different. Um, so when that's done dripping, you'll put your oil filter back on, uh, which is this thing right here. Make sure this is snugged up, and then your oil filter bolt is also snugged up. Uh, before I do this, I take a little bit of well, the new or old oil, put it around this little this little ring here. Uh, from what I understand, what that helps to do is when you got to take it back off to change it again, it just makes it come off easier. It doesn't like seize on there. So, so yeah. So once everything's snugged back up, you get your oil and you know you put it back in here. Like I said mine's 2.8 quarts, and then when you fill it up, run it back up to temperature. You want to run the bike up to temperature before you drain the oil and then you want to run it back up the temperature after you put the oil back in and then I guess if you have a newer bike you probably have a sight glass some have dipsticks um, but this is my upper level this is my lower level so after I put the oil in I run the bike up the temperature I'm going to take it off the stand and stand it straight up you want to be on a level surface uh, the oil level should be here uh, if it's too high you know you can drain a little bit out if it's too low you can always add some so um, make sure it's right where your markers are and that's basically about it. It's pretty simple. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know.